Hello guys and welcome to the explanation video for my next let's play and this next let's play is going to be a Pokemon Lilac virus like I wanted to do something different again the same way I did with Moemon and because of this I decided I'd kind of craft my own Nuzlocke variant now it's not all mine and there's not I can't take all of the credit for it because I saw a lot of these rules online and I'll put a link to where I saw them in the description and I'll give credit in the description to the people that helped me create the rules but, yeah, this is pretty much me going to be explaining what it is. Now, the first rule of a virus lock is that all standard Nuzlocke rules apply. So, if you catch a Pokemon on, like, you can only catch the first encounter on each route. If a Pokemon dies, it's considered dead. And, uh, species, claws, so that you can only, if you find a Pokemon on another route that you've already caught, you don't have to catch it and you will get a new encounter. So basically all standard Nuzlocke rules apply. This is where things start to get weird. The second rule is the PC may not be accessed at any point. So you cannot access the PC. If a P uh, Pokemon is put in the PC, it is dead. If an item is put in the PC, it's considered useless and completely contaminated. You cannot use the PC because it has a virus in it that kills any Pokemon and disintegrates any items that are put into it. Yeah. Basically, no using the PC. Third rule, TMs may not be used on any Pokemon unless the TM is needed to advance the game. So, like in some games like Pokemon Glazed, you cannot like you cannot advance the game without using the TM Rock Climb in certain positions and you needed Whirlpool for later on. Um, I don't know if Lilac has anything like that, but if it is needed like that, then I will make sure that I'm able to use that TM, but not able to use any others. So, however, any other TM cannot be used. HMs are fine because they are needed to advance the story. You cannot complete the game without using a HM move because there will simply be HM moves. But, yeah. No TMs like Shockwave, just pure attacking TMs like Shockwave and Toxic and stuff like that cannot be used ever. Now the fourth rule, electronic items like the EXP Share and Macho Brace cannot be used at all because they are also considered to be, like, have a virus in them and they will kill any Pokemon that they are put on. They are not allowed to be used at all. That yeah, that's just an extension of the like no electronic item. Well, yeah, that's just yeah. <laughs> now this is one of my rules that I've literally just came up with. Now electric types have a 50% chance to be infected and uncatchable. So if you encounter an electric type as your first encounter, it has a 50% chance to be infected and. If you are attacked by an infected Pokemon, an infected electric type, you will die. If you cannot escape from it, you will die. If you can knock it out in one hit, that's fine. But yeah, I'm going to be using a random number gen uh, a random number generator from like what, uh, 0 to 100 to determine if the Pokemon's catchable or not, and I'll be putting that in the episode itself. But if I do not, like if it's lower than 50 then it won't be catchable and I'll have to run or knock it out in one hit but if I can't do that and it attacks me then I will be infected and my Pokemon will die. Simple as. It's, it's a simple rule but it's going to be really strange to enforce because I've never seen anything like it and it's kind of the one unique rule. Episode, um, uh, da, 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 rule 6. Once you have 6 Pokemon you cannot catch any more until one dies. So, because you cannot store Pokemon in the in the PC unless they are dead, you cannot, well yeah, <laughs> once you have six Pokemon you can't catch any more until one dies because you need that free spot to put the Pokemon in. If a Pokemon dies you can store it in the PC, only, that is the only exception to rule two. You can only use the PC to store dead Pokemon and you can't use the move box function, you can only deposit Pokemon. Yeah. Once you have six, you because yeah, blah blah blah. And finally, rule seven: any encounters with six Pokémon in your party are lost. If you encounter a Pokémon on a new, like a new route, and you have six Pokémon in your party already, the encounter for that route is gone. You cannot go back and redo it. It is simply gone. You, you're you're just 
done. You're done. You can't do anything on that route. You are simply finished. <laughs> If it's a new species, though, if it's a species you've already caught and you have six Pokemon in your party, you can redo the encounter, because that also coincides with species clause. But if you encounter a new Pokemon on a route and you have six in your party already, you're finished. You're done. You can't go back to it. And that's it, guys. That's the seven rules for this virus lock. Uh, yeah. I hope you enjoy the series, and I'm looking forward to it. I really am. So, thank you very much for watching, guys, and peace.